Hello, everybody. It is Gavin. And John with Let's Open it. We're doing something a little bit different today. Magic Arena gameplay. Yeah. So Gavin's over here. He's uh I'm gonna be the pilot today. Yeah. We're gonna take you through some of my historic decks, I think. Um I've not logged on to Arena in quite a while. Uh, as you can see, um, I got my cards back for Meat Hook Massacre because F in the chat for Meat Hook Massacre because, oh my gosh, they ruined this card. Yeah. It used to be good, and now it's not. Oh, did they change this card too? Did they change Dragon Race Chandelier? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, no. That know. looks the same to me. No, they definitely had to have changed it. It's up here. Just claim those awards. Claim those Oh, what else did you get? Um, let's see. They changed Tanzir Quandrix. That card was cool. Oh, they nerfed the hell out of this card for sure. Excuse me, folks. Excuse me. Uh, are you getting all these cards? Yep. Yeah, those are all my cards now. Nice. Um, because I had cards that got nerfed, like this got banned. Mm, oh my god. Okay. Okay. Wow, we're just watching him get all kinds of stuff. Get started. We yeah, I've not not gotten to play. Can you let's open place. some packs online? Can I? Um, I've got three new Capenna boosters, but yeah. here let's buy some more boosters first. Oh no, that's not. Are you, is it gonna cost you money? No, I've got coins. Okay, we're gonna do a let's open it. Yeah, uh, and some arena boosters. Let's see, let's head over to the packs. Um, Get six alchemy packs. Hopefully, we'll get a mythic out of those. Claim. Let's go here to my boosties. We'll open the new Capenna ones first. Yeah, this is interesting. Opening them up online. All right, yeah. This is almost as cool as real cards, not. <laughs> yeah. so, so, we got a soul of emancipation for our first rare. Let's look at the next one. Bing, 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 bing. Come on. Big money, big money, no whammies. Two uncommon wild cards, just what I needed. Evelyn, Evelyn. the covetous. My grandma's name was Evelyn. Oh, rip Evelyn. Um, all right, big money, no whammies. Come on, give me a triome at least. And N another, another soul of emancipation. I can build a soul of emancipation deck now. Uh, leave a comment if you would like to see me do that, because I can. It'll be bad, <laughs> but I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Um, bing, 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 bing. A mythic. mythic. Champions, Champions of, of Tyre. Tyre. Neat. <clears throat> All right, so probably not going to expect a lot out of the rest of these packs. Started off with the Mythic. I was hoping to be a little more suspicious. Another Mythic. Sworn oh, to wow. the Legion. Sworn to the Legion. Ah, nifty. Okay. Nice. Open the next pack. Do, 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 do. What is it? What is it? What is it? Let's click. Another wow. one. Wow. A pack weapon. Back to back to back Mythics <laughs> right now. Packed weapon. I like that card. Yeah. It's fun. All right, and yeah, these are Battle for Baldur's Gate cards. Why did I buy these? Because I am a dummy. Oh, uh, first rare. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, the first just means it's the first copy on my account I have. Um, do, do, do. I love seeing all these AFR reprints. Oh, you know they have six-sided magic cards now? Do they really? With this set. <laughs> um, that's. I wonder if I... I probably got some of them, and I just don't know what they are. Hold on. Maybe... Uh, there's none of those. Hmm. But yeah, there are six sided magic cards now with this set that I'm opening. Oh, what are we going to get? Come on, big money. Another, another mythic another. of Prosper. Hell yeah. Prosper's awesome. All right, yeah, he's a CDH commander All right, right now. Well, we did some let's open it on Arena. Yeah, so now let's uh, play something. Play. Let's do. That's historic ranked. Uh, with my red green monsters deck first, let me show you the deck. Can I? Yeah. All right, just play. Yeah, we got it back. Okay, yep. Yeah, because that took so long, we are just going to hop into it. No time for a deck tech because who knows how much longer we can actually record this. Yeah. Um, I'm playing against the Ranger. Hello, the Ranger. You were playing against Fire Gamer 5 of Let's Open It. Yeah. Uh, this hand is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. So I've got an Ember Cleave. I don't like starting with Ember Cleaves, but it's not the end of the world. But I've got a, uh, I can ter play a turn one tap stomping ground into a turn two other land and then uh, burning tree emissary into a scavenging ooze and that's really good and have yeah. a turn three on crop invaders to swing for like five or six seven keep uh, so yeah this is a good keep this this is what we want to see with this 
Um, it's not like the nuts, um, but it's pretty good. This is just creature beat down, basically. Yeah. We'll see how he beats. Oh, zombies. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Uh oh. Um, so we are gonna deviate from the play pattern a little bit here. What we're gonna do is drop the forest, drop the burning tree emissary, and then stomp the hell out of that champion of the parish. I think that's the line. Because this thing will just get way too big to deal with. Yeah. Good play. Uh, I like it. And then it's our opponent's turn. And yeah, I did it at sorcery speed. I didn't want to give him a chance to untap with it, so Maybe it wasn't the play, but uh, yeah, so yeah, no, yeah, that was that was a good play. I stand by it. Um, but now we're gonna just slam the Bone Crusher giant here. Uh, offer to trade. He probably won't. He'll just take the two. Yep, there we go. Yep. All right. This is cool. Yeah, this is a game that's going pretty well so far. Um, I'm not sure. So he's black white. So he's black white for this card so far, but I don't know what else to be expecting from him, and I don't honestly know oh, what this card tokens. does. Tokens, he's doing things. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's, he's popping off this turn. He's doing things. Popping off. All right. Mountain. All right. Yeah, we're gonna slam the mountain. Then I can. Yeah, we're gonna scooze here. Um, scooze. I'm taking a very slow route, which probably isn't good. It should probably be pedaling to the meddling because i'm not yeah. sure i can win the race i think in he's the long term he's going to get wider and bigger yeah. than i am yep. but uh we'll see um i've got very favorable combat trades so let's just go do it yeah let's just go six he'll fight his in the it. face he'll mm, i'm not so sure um so he'll block your two too especially nope, he took it wow yeah no he took it all right cool i'm not mad about it though um next turn we're gonna have three guys swinging in um, I'll be able to pop off the Ember Cleave and get as much closer to a dub. That's going to be nice. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, Flash. hopefully I don't lose the first game I've ever played on camera before. Yeah. That would suck. That would be hilarious. I'm an okay Magic player. I'm not great uh, by any sense of the word. There are certainly far better players out Whenever there. Whenever zombies enter the field, like all this. Look oh, at this. Man, he yeah. is just. Yeah, no, this, is a, this was a rough matchup to get paired against first. And he gained some life, yeah. I probably can't come back from this, uh, but we'll see. Mountain. Um, yeah, I think we slammed the mountain here. Um, he doesn't have anything else in the yard, cause he, so that's why he's not blocking. He doesn't want to feed my skews. Um, mm. Let's see. So I'm going to attack with three. Then I'm going to have three left to cast the Ember Cleave, but I've only got five. I don't have any two drops in my hand because I'm bad at this game. You don't have enough to play Ember Cleave. Uh, yeah, but I want an Ember Cleave plus a thing, and I can't do that. No. Because I only have five. Um, that's all right. Swinging in. Swinging in. And then, yeah. He's just going to widen his board and just blop you. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Take it. Take it. I don't think he's going to take it. He's going to block. Yeah. Um, so now we flash in the Ember Cleave. We want to make sure the Bone Crusher Giant gets through for some damage. So we'll give the Ember Cleave to the Bone Crusher. You can make an argument for putting it on the scoos or putting it on the uh, burning tree. This is fun. But he's, but he's already declared blocks. I like this. So I think this is fun. And then you can watch me play and just be garbage. Uh, we got to get you some good decks built. And then you'll be all right. Because this deck kind of plays Oh, so. yeah, yeah. I'm getting him close, but he's got the he, ability to gain some life. This game is far from over, folks. No, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. He Whoa, oh. he drew a card and lost a life? Ew. Twice, Ew. yeah. All right, this guy's probably done in rings. Uh, so all we have to do is top deck Bone Crusher Giant and just kill him. Yep. Like, that's just auto win the game. <laughs> oh, no, Blood Artist. That's awful. That is awful. Okay, yeah, I really, really, really need Bone Crusher off the top here. Um, nobody's gaining life again. Um, so this is still going to be a, sl a slog fest. Yep. Um, but it's all right, because I've got this Hazotep Oasis here. And I can give my Bone Crusher Giant plus three, plus three. And, he has, uh, does he have Trample? He does have Trample. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, the Ember Cleave gives us um, double plus strike. one, plus one, double strike and Trample. So, yeah, I think he's, I think opponent's still dead. Yeah. No matter what, or he's just going to. Um, yeah, dude, I, I got nothing. I got nothing with my two yeah. Manander. So, wait, actually, I do have something. I forgot. That's all right. I do have an effect still. Yeah. Thanks. Make Scoos bigger. I forgot. I have a... Yeah, okay. No, maybe I do just have this game. 
Um, yeah, I'll eat his goblet shrine too. That's fine. <laughs> that was not a bone crusher off the top. Nope. Um, but you know what? Okay. Um, let's think about this, folks. Okay, so no matter what, Play we, sl- we, we slam has a type oasis. Um, but how many do I have now? Three, four, five, six. So we're actually going to do a different play pattern. We're going to play Hazaret. Um, Indestructible in haste. Yep. And then this Land of War Elves. So now my Hazaret can attack. I wanted to do the Oncrop Invaders, but there's nothing on his side of the field that's so large that I'm really worried about it blocking. Um, and swing. Yeah. Like we're just going to full send. Full send, buddy. Full send. Yeah. Um, he's gonna. I'm gonna lose some life. He's gonna gain some life from the exchange. I didn't do the math to see whether we win. I'm gonna let him figure it out because, as the secret layer says, math is for blockers. <laughs> I'm just playing the red guys and turning them sideways. Yep. And that's what we did this game. We played the red guys, turned them sideways, had a blast doing it. He's blocking everything. Yeah, he has to. Otherwise, yeah. he's dead. So, um, yep, that's fine. Like that, sir. Um, yeah, but he's still going to have two. Uh, and the thing is, if I oh kill, gosh. kill, 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 you just, yeah. Yeah. So he's gaining three. I'm losing three uh, off of that exchange. Um, He had everything blocked. Yeah, it'll just resolve. He didn't have uh, emissary blocked. Um, but he just So real quick, look at this trick. <laughs> I'll gain a life point back. So I'm not dead on the crackback. <laughs> Hopefully. He could play a lord off the top. That would be pretty bad. Took a life. Dead, 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 two. He's down to two. Yeah. He has no board. Yep. And I got Ooh. rid of my bone crusher giant, which is okay. Yeah. It's fine. It's not ideal. But we can always re-equip the Ember- Embercleave for three, um, which is actually pretty good. And I've still got the backup of the Oncrop Invaders. If he plays, like... Two blockers here. I can still make one. Not. I block. have one of those corpse knights on the misprint. Oh yeah, you have the two three one. Yeah, the card does read a lot. Oh, he just conceded. Mm. Yeah, you win. Good yeah. game. That Victory. was a good game. Victory. Good. I was not sure how that was going to go uh, for a little bit, so I'm glad that I got to win my first game on camera. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, Very awesome. So, so the deck still works, kind of. Oh yeah. 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 Deck still got legs. Um, do we want to play one more game? Yeah, let's play one more. Um, let's change up decks. Let's play... My Stompy. Uh, that's invalid, so I have to change Phoenix for some reason. Which is okay. I need more wild cards for it. Um, let's play. This is my homebrew deck. So you saw this is not a deck I came up with. I may have made slight changes here or there um, for it, but I certainly did not invent this list. However, I invented this list, nice. and it's a lot of fun. Nice. It let's got see it. a lot worse because of how they changed uh, Meat Hook Massacre. Oh, okay. Uh, because Meat Hook Massacre was kind of a win. I guess not a win condition, but it was a huge, like, just swinging piece if I drew it at the right time. Yeah, let's see. So this is Mono Black Control. <laughs> um, the whole point of the deck is to just let your opponents not play their or not oh, have their murderous riders. not have their creature stick yeah i'm playing murderous riders i got field of the ruin i'm playing snow covered lands because i've got the one man land um i've got some village rights i don't like this hand i don't like this hand at all because mm. it's really slow it is it's just really slow um so <laughs> we're gonna ship it um this hand's a lot better a lot better it sucks that i've blood in the snow and professor onyx in the same hand um, so I'm probably going to keep the blood on the snow and put Professor Onyx on the bottom because I do have another copy of Professor Onyx. I do not believe I have another copy of blood in the snow. Um, so here we're going to do that, and I'm holding up Fatal Push for whatever his turn one play is. Oh, Land of War Elves? Yeah, we're either against what I just played or Elves right now Yeah. or Mono Green Stompy. There's a couple things this Dead. dude could be on. Dead. Uh, yeah, but kill that. Uh, here's the star player of this deck, I Twitch. Um, this card is silly. Just What's silly. What's Uh, I get to get a sorcery from my sideboard and put it in my hand as long as it has the card type lesson. And he is on elves. I am going, this is going to be a struggle to win this game. Elves is a hard match. Yeah. Um, just cause they come out so fast. Um, but here we're going to blood chiefs thirst his dude. Yeah. Bye buddy. Hope you find your dad. Yep. 
Flunk this guy. Ping him for one. In the air. Yep. In the air, right. It's a one mana, one one with flying. So, like, pretty decent. Uh, See, now I don't have removal for the Elvish Arch Druid. <laughs> oh, no. no way. Yeah. Oh, you know what's funny? We can trigger the, its ability. We can trigger its ability, buddy. Oh, no. That's... Oh, my opponent doesn't have non-basics. I'm actually... Wow. Wow, that was a big <laughs> blunder on camera. Mm -hmm. uh, but check this out. This is a thing I can do. So I'm going to do that to get the environmental sciences. It's all right. I recovered pretty well. That was a cute trick. Um, say go. Yeah. Nice. So I killed my dude, got environmental sciences, uh, got to gain two life, tutor a land. Seems good. Yeah. Um, Except for all uh, his elves are just going to start getting. Two, oh, three, yeah. Four. It's okay. This is getting bigger. It's okay. I can eat a few swing. Oh, my gosh. He had the collected company? <laughs> Are you kidding me? He had the collected company. Yeah. Well, this is done. Yeah. See, yeah. this is why elves is a very hard uh, match Yeah. for this deck because it just explodes. Hold on. So what's the target here? It's not Dwin's Guard Elite. It might be Elvish Archdruid yeah. or, or it's Elvish Warmaster. Yeah, because he can make a bunch of mana. So I can get rid of his bunch of mana. Yeah, that's what you're going to need to do. Oh, wait. No, does he have two Archdruids? He does have two Archdruids. This is bad. So I actually am going to get rid of this guy. And if he crater hoofs off the top, I lose anyway. It's fine. If he's just really good at drawing. Yeah. I'm going to get that guy with Jelly Cube. <laughs> Jelly Cube's so good. I and like I So these are just really cool cards. They're just not... Great. He got All, uh, he got him. Yeah, but it doesn't have haste, so he can't. Oh, wait. Uh, is that a tap ability? I don't, nope. Nope. He can still just win this turn off of that. Yeah. Yep. It, yeah, yeah opponent yeah. Opponent got, got good. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to concede. I'm going to let him beat me. Yeah. I'm going to let him beat me because we're, we're filming. I will be a nice opponent. Yeah. Yep. Good job. Good job, buddy. You just got there. You just got there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Get ready for this. Oh, man. Yeah. That's yeah. all right. You can't win every game. Yeah. You, know? you can't win every game. But now I feel like we're going to play one more. Right? Yeah, let's play one more. These, these have been quick games. What yeah. What are we at recording? -wise? I don't know. And we do got to cut a chunk out of the middle. 20 minutes. No, oh, that's not bad. One more game. Three, two, uh, you know, let's see what you One get. more game. Um, I'll play a different deck. Um, uh, Esper Ores is still good. This deck's silly. This deck is just silly. I wish I could play Phoenix. Because that's one of the top decks in the format. Um, but instead, we're going to play janky decks. Yeah. All of my decks today have been kind of janky decks. Players with oh, mythic orange names and Wizards of the Coast employees. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Make sure to say hello. I've never come across one of those, even when I was... Because they don't even play this game. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Some of them, at least. Watch me play one right now. That would be sick. Not in bronze. You kidding me, John? Not in bronze <laughs> tier. <laughs> yeah, maybe at diamond and mythic. Yeah. Yeah, I got a I got a long ways to go if I want to get back to diamond. Um, uh, this uh, hand is really nutty. Uh, this hand is so good. So we've got a turn one Esper Sentinel, and I can make it bigger on turn two, and draw more cards with the Curiosity and the Curious Obsession, the Sentinel's Eyes. Like this hand's not our butter. The only thing that makes this hand better is a Light Pause. Maybe I like to trade the Selfless Savior for a Light Pause. So yeah, this hand's gross. Nice. <coughs> I don't know. Oh, we didn't win the coin flip. That kind of sucks. Uh-oh. I would I would have liked to win the coin flip with this hand. Oh, is my opponent on? Ah! No, my opponent is on. Is it Phoenix? I almost guarantee it. I turn one Faithless Looting. Oh, no. They're on an ultimatum deck. I'm going to lose. <laughs> All right. It's okay. We got I have it. a lot of those Faithless Looting cards. Hold on. Uh, turn that into that. Slam an Esper Sentinel. Yeah, see, I would have gotten to draw a card uh, had I got to go first there. Yeah. Um. So now we're gonna play this island as an island. Uh, give this dude Sentinel's eyes. Give this dude Curious Obsession, so I get to draw a card. Cause that's the most important thing with the Ors deck is you need to keep your hand full at all times. Yeah. Um. And draw most cards. So this yes. also plays Sram, uh, which you're familiar with. Yes. Uh, Core Spirit Dancer. Another good enchantment target. And Light Paws, man. Light Paws is so good. Um, cool. So you got to draw a card there. He's drawing some cards, making some treasures. So he's trying to ramp into casting one of those ultimatums. 
And once the ultimatum hits the field, I just lose. So I'm trying to get Esper Sentinel as big as possible, or hopefully what I could do is draw into a light pause. If I can draw a light pause, this game gets a little easier, and I have a, my win percentage goes up, but I'm definitely on the back foot still. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Or my chance of win percentage, whatever. You know what I mean, folks. Um, so there's a planes. Let's play Curiosity. Mm, uh, you can make the argument that maybe I should have went for putting Luris in my hand here. That probably would have been a good play, too. I don't know. That's a lot slower, though. I'm trying to pedal to the metal. Yeah. Um, so now we just turn him sideways. That's the game. Turn him sideways. Yep, he does turn him sideways. Um, but I've got Vigilance. So now we're going to draw two cards. Sentinel Eyes. Yep. And f Arcane Flight. That's pretty good. All right. Make him fly. Yep, got some evasion. Hopefully, if we top deck Light Paws, this game does get a lot different. I don't have anything to give haste, so I could still potentially just... Or all that glitters. All that glitters helps me win this game, too. Okay. Another Esper Sentinel. Another Esper Sentinel. That's not what I wanted to see. Nope. I've got to be honest. Oh, man. Uh, I would like an all that glitters. All that glitters off the top is really good. Uh, no, nope. Didn't quite get there. Nope. Um, we're going to play this as a planes... Then we're going to play the Sentinel's Eyes. Make them flying. Yeah. Just go into town here real quick. And that is my turn. Yeah, why not? So, no, this is back up in case my guy dies. Okay. So we'll slam the Esper Sentinel here. Um, and then turn him sideways. Yeah, now my opponent has one more turn. If they don't ultimate him on their turn, um, I win. And if they do, I lose, pretty much. Oh, SRAM. Yeah, got the SRAM, but it's too little too late yeah, for SRAM is. to really yeah. be any uh, be of any use. Uh, but now, if he goes to kill this Esper Sentinel, I've got, with a targeted removal, I've got the Karametra's Blessing yes. back up. Um, so that's okay. Um, but it really just depends on how good this turn is right now. Yeah, um, he's just going to blast it out if uh, he But he's it. only got red and blue, and he's only got five. So I don't think he can generate enough mana to not lose right now. Yeah, he didn't. He doesn't have the... Um, oh, it's a Dragonstorm deck. Okay. Yeah, I don't see, unless he, like, Tybalt's trickeries right now, mm -hmm. maybe. Some Tybalt's trickery shenanigans. Um, we'll see, or he just... Is like oh, yeah, he's just gonna let the now time. He's, now he's roping me. Uh, but he's got to be just racking his brain on what to do right now because uh, I've not played the Dragon Storm deck, but it does look like a very very convoluted control or er, combo deck. Um, it's something that's up my alley. I would like to play it, but the only yeah. thing is those cards aren't really that good in decks that aren't that shell. Yeah, and I try to craft cards that are good in all or that could be. Used in a wider variety of decks. Uh, decks. Uh, I get to draw some cards now because he didn't pay for it. Uh, yeah, there's the S or the Core Spirit Dancer along with the Sram that are just not gonna be able to do anything. And he okay, conceded. and there's the concession. Victory um, two one on the video. Not too bad. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, but we're in bronze tier. In bronze tier, not yeah. that not that hard to get some dubs. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed our first Magic Arena video. Yeah. Hopefully you liked it. Tell us what you think. Watch it, like it, subscribe, do all those things. Yeah. If you see over here, it says big old, so please subscribe. Yeah, big old, please subscribe. Yeah. So uh, s tell us what you think, and we'll see you next time. And as always, bye-bye.